when you're going through a healing journey, some things are more important than other things. And this little film with pictures and speaking is gonna represent a part of what I'm doing right now. Because, you see, I'm letting go of old things and things that don't serve me any longer. But also things where I am not welcome. Because, you see, I've said so many times in all those podcasts I release and films that I am 100% secure and have 100% clarity of what my worth is today. And I am not intending to be a people pleaser. I am intending to be me, feeling good in that, and go on. And most of the things you see right now, me releasing, it is a... I'm building a library of me, what I've been through, my healing journey, but also some kind of way to give you who see, listen, if you're doing that right now, when I release it, or in a year from now, or two years from now, or maybe if you are some of my three I love so much, and you see this, this when you have grown up, it doesn't matter, because you see, I have people in my life that I don't see, that I don't get, uh, I'm allowed to see, and people that I have released and moved on from, and memories that I need to release and move on from, but also things that I want, but I'm not welcome. And I do need to go on. I do need to let go of things. I do need to drop things that doesn't serve me. Things that I need to stop think of. And this little film is old things that have been in my life. Mostly dogs and cats, but also some other things. So... Here we go. See what we end up. We're going to begin many, many years ago. This is a photograph of my step, one of my step, uh, my step parent, one of my parents uh, in Old Cup. Um, and I think I was about four or five years old. And I've chosen to take this with me because I need to release my childhood. I've gone through so many things in my childhood that I'm probably going to speak about when I get up on stage, some of it. But mostly I took this picture with here because the dogs you see, uh, the big dog uh, called Robin and the other one called Cindy, German Shepherds. I grew up with German Shepherds and... Uh, the dogs always were my best friends. Always. They are still my best friends. I can't meet a dog today that is not going to be in my knee, <laughs> I think. Um, I know dogs. I have grown up with them. I have, with my one of my parents, my step-parent, been in every kind of dog situation you can be. He trained dogs for many, many years till, till he get old. I think he still does, even if he don't talk about it so much. He's almost 17 years, 70 years now. And dogs has been his life. And it became my life too. And I... I love dogs. I don't want one, but I love them. So, yeah, me as a little child, five or four or five years old. This is one of the first pictures of me when I get to Gotland. 
in back in 2006 or seven, seven, I think it was. And this dog is called Baltasar when he was a young puppy. And uh, it was my first own bought dog. And uh, he really became my best friend those years before we left this island. And uh, you're going to see more pictures of him in this little film. He he really knew how to hug. He was a great dean and absolutely one of the most nicest and kindest guys you could know. He was big and people were afraid of him because of he was big. But he was like the most kind one you can have. Oh, so I miss him. I miss him so much. All his hugs I miss. Here you have Baltasar when he is a little bit older and his best friend Plexus. We had two great deans a long, long while. Plexus we get when he was old. He was, I think, one or two maybe years old when we get him. And um, a little story about that dog, the black one. Uh, he he seemed as he was as he was healthy, and I think he was healthy in some kind of way because I I was the one a woman who made my own dog food. I cooked it myself, and the dogs and food it, it always were like the best. And Plexus was very special because he was my service dog. And uh, at night, when I needed to go to the bathroom, when I fall, I always get his help up. He helped me up every night. I could grab him, him around the neck like I hugged him and he pulled me up. So I got up in my wheelchair again. And... He always were there for me. He was a working dog. And he wasn't trained to be a service dog. But he was that in 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 every kind of way. He opened doors. He he did everything. And I remember the day when he 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 gets sick. He he told me that in the morning. He didn't show that he was sick, but he told me. And Afterwards, when they went in with him and, and he was dead, they told us that he had been sick all along because the ones who sold him to us, they knew he was sick. He had cancer. But they said, because they had met him so many times, they didn't know that it was the same dog. But they had met him so many times and they have seen him so many times over the years. And... Because of everything I did with him and the family did with him, he survived. He got, I think, six years more than he should have had if he hadn't ended up with us. And those two, Baltasar and Plexus, they were like best friends. They were like, you couldn't separate them. It was like... They were one dog, but they were two dogs. And uh, both of them were so special. Oh, so I miss those two, too. I really miss them. I'm almost crying when I'm talking about them. Here is me. This was my first wheelchair I got on the island, on Gotland. And it also was my first real electrical wheelchair. Before I got this one, I drove around with one of those, I don't know what you call it in English, but they looked like kind of, you know, old people have. Um, and I couldn't handle them myself. But this one I got. And to be honest, I really never liked this wheelchair. I thought it was... 
no, I didn't like this wheelchair. And uh, the funniest part of it is that almost, almost one of those are going to get now. So we see if we're going to like it. Um, this one I had for a couple of years. And uh, I have... I had an accident with this wheelchair in the end. And after that, they took it away and I get a new one. <laughs> this was a funny time. I am biking and it was so fun. I remember it. I used to train with this. Like a year after I ended up in my wheelchair, I started to train in this kind of thing. And uh, I was good at it. And it was fun. The, by this time, I had strong arms. And it was before I ended up in electrical wheelchairs. And before I destroyed my back. Uh, so I trained a whole lot of this. Uh, and uh, it was like freedom when you get out in one of these. And it went fast. Oh, it went really, really fast. And... I look at myself when I see this picture, I see my hair, it's really ugly, but in, at the time I think I liked it. So yeah, this picture is my oldest child and Balthasar when he was little. I think this picture was when I started to realize that I like to photograph. When I started to realize that I like to create in that kind of way. I have always liked to create in that kind of way. I did f take photo even before. But here I think I started to realize that that was one of the things I wanted to work with. And this picture is very special because she was sitting and speaking to him. And... She had to hold his ha her hand on his back because otherwise he would go away. And uh, I, I remember we laughed about that very, very much. And um, if you see this, my girl, I do miss you. Even if I don't speak to you, even if I don't have anything to do with you today, I do miss you and I do love you no matter what.